Hello and welcome to episode 2 of the Script Academy course. In today's video we're going to be looking at how to create custom commands and because this is just a beginner course for new users we're going to be creating a simple custom slash broadcast command that accepts one argument. Before we get started I would just like to ask for your support so if you would please like and subscribe to the channel it would be great. This video is a direct continuation of the previous tutorial so I highly recommend you watch the last one before you continue with this one. So now that we have our learnscript.sk file onto the server, we're going to learn our first syntax, which is command slash command name. That is how you define a command in script. We're going to replace command name with broadcast. And to accept an argument, we're going to open up our angled bracket and type in text. Text is the argument type. So we could have integer and obviously if you and put it anything that wasn't an integer, it would not work. So we're going to change that back to text. Now we need the new line and indent and type trigger colon new line and indent. Script is based on indentation, so indentation does matter. You need the one indent and the two indents. Every time you add a colon, you need the indent one. All the code after the word trigger will obviously be run whenever the command is run. Another syntax we're going to use is broadcast and then text it does what it says in the tin it broadcasts the text we replace text with whatever text we want to say so we're going to say broadcast argument one argument one relates directly to the arguments whenever we define the command so this is argument one now all we have to do is save that file go to the ftp click yes then join the server type sk reload and our file name Obviously, our file name is learn script. Hit enter, and our script will reload. And this is also where script will tell us if there's any errors, which we will cover in a later video. There were no errors, so if we type broadcast, we just type broadcast and hit enter, nothing's going to work because we have specified in the code that there should be a text argument. Now, broadcast hello world. And there it broadcasts hello world there. Another thing we can do just before trigger is add a handful of other arguments such as alias, executable by, usage, description, permission, permission message, cooldown, cooldown message, cooldown bypass and cooldown storage. The only ones you would really ever use is alias. So instead of just broadcast we can do slash bc. So that will allow players to, sli to type slash bc instead of typing slash broadcast. We don't need usage, we don't need description. Permission would be a permission node. So if you want only maybe staff to use this, type slash broadcast dot use. We can also add a permission message saying you don't have permission to use this. And I've personally never really used any of the cooldown ones. So now we can save this. Yet again, go to our file manager and click yes. Go in game and type sk reload learn script. No errors. Now slash bc. bc now runs the same as slash broadcast. Another handy thing we can use is if we add square brackets around our argument, it makes the argument optional. So if I save the file, reload in the file manager and then type sk reload learn script. Now we can type in broadcast and we don't need to add an argument and nothing will work. Broadcast hello and it works. This could be useful if you want staff to be able to type slash broadcast and a default message comes up. You would have something like if argument one is not set. Broadcast hello and then stop. However, we are not going to jump into conditionals in this episode. That will be in a later episode. That is it for this Script Academy video. If you did find it helpful, please leave a like because it helps a lot. Thank you.